from the city of brotherly love and Citizens Bank Park Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Texas Rangers taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Coming up on the first pitch, and on the hill, the big righty, Kyle Gibson. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well in their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy, no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he, he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that baseball. in this one. All okay. right, ready to get underway. Isaiah kiner falefa up to the plate. And he deals. That one what misses. Up? And this one is off and running. Next pitch off the play. Two balls, no strikes. The 2-0 is in for a strike. And the right-hander deals. That one not close. And the count is three and one. Pitch. Fought off foul. My drive caught. Batting second. And now we take a look at the Rangers lineup. An important piece, but a guy that's been struggling a little bit. They're DH in this one, Nick Solak. Yeah, and Boog, sometimes all you need when you're slumping like this is just a little bit of confidence. You need a little bit of luck. Want it back. You hit the ball hard. Maybe it's caught. No big deal. Or maybe you get a bleeder. It gets you a hit. You just need to feel good about the at-bat, and that's when things start to turn a little bit. We'll see if he can do that in this one. In there for strike one. That's a Next pitch misses. And a count even one and one. No score just getting started top of the first. One down, base is empty. High fly ball out to center field. And there's two down. Batting third, the shortstop, Corey Seager. Two outs, base is empty. At the play, Corey Seager. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Ball. And the first pitch misses for ball one. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Puts the tag on, leaving the box, and that's the third out. We'll go to the bottom of the first. 
0-0. Bottom of the first, and today's starter, Dane Dunning. What's the word on him? Well, coming into this game, hitters are batting under 250 against this starting pitcher. So it just shows you how effective he's been. He's been able to move his pitches around, add and subtract, change up the look so that hitters don't get too comfortable and start squaring up the baseball. We'll see what he's got in this one. We, we go, go to the bottom of the first. Billing. And now here's the, the veteran DH, Kyle, Kyle Schwarber. Schwarber. Next offering is down low. Two ball, no strike. Well, the hitter's got his timing down for the breaking ball. If you're a pitcher, if you can get that fastball in on the hand, it's going to be very difficult for that hitter to get the barrel to it. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. One up, one down. Way out in front of that inside pitch there. Batting just second. exactly the Look opposite kind of approach 16. that you want with two strikes. Real you want to let Utah. the ball travel. Make sure you recognize it. Try to shorten up so that you can at least put the ball in play. Clearly fooled, but I think even more so, you question the two-strike approach. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. First offering misses the mark. The 1 0. -oh. Swings and fouls one off. Here comes a pitch. That's now one through. missed. Yeah, there's three. a ball. Three balls, one strike. Now this one is smoked down the left field line. On its way, but it's fair. Flush that thing down the line, and everyone had to hold their breath until it flanked off the pole. Every time that happens, it just kind of feels like a trip shot or something, but really, it's just a stroke that of luck that stays fair along the way. The right fielder. Bryce Harper to the plate. They say you win. And the pitch. Foul ball there. Phillies fans want a strikeout. A foul ball, he stays alive. <laughs> Slap a foul. There's a swing and a drive. That one carrying. Out of here. Bryce Parker goes deep. His seventh run of the season. It's 2-0.
back-to-back -back jacks, and this club is fired up right now, dude. This is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. So one out, nobody on. Here's the speed threat, Brandon Jordan. Batting four. The center fielder. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. Next offering is in for a strike. And it's fouled away. Righty to the plate. And it's even up. Really good slider. He's up there just hoping that it ends up off the plate away. Swing and he breaks his back. Throws the first. And now two ball. Okay, let's check out the lineup. A guy who's been huge for them over the last month plus, JT Real Muto. Here's Trevor Story. and a ball lifted left field Calhoun gliding back and that's the third out but the long ball was working in this inning not once but twice it's now a 2-0 ball game back here at the ballpark top of the second now it's the second baseman Marcus Simeon the second base. Well, after putting up a nice Marcus. inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And the pitch. Started after it, appeal to first, and he went around according to Patrick Johnson. Next one misses. Two balls and a strike. Next offering is downstairs. Play for the out. That is good. The left fielder, number 25, Willie Calhoun. Willie Calhoun stands in here. First pitch, and he just misses. Next pitch is outside. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Larry Bullard making the calls behind the plate for us in this one. Pretty good strike zone. Well reviewed by those we talked to around the league. Yeah, he's an umpire. He doesn't get a lot of looks from players. Maybe here and there once in a while, but he's appreciated back there. Line. 
Night drive. Harper makes the play. Two away now. What about an umpire's height? How much of a role does that play in your experience and what the strike zone is like? Yeah, I think it pushes the strike zone up a little bit, which, you know, as a former hitter, you like that. You wanted the ball up. You didn't want to have to deal with stuff down in the zone consistently. And first offering is fouled off. On the ground, right side. Hoskins oh. takes it to the bag, out number three. Enough to do it for the Rangers. They trail it here, two nothing. And welcome back. Now the left fielder, Nick Castellanos. Leading off for the Phillies, the left fielder, Nick. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. The wind of the pitch. That's in there. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. He's not ready to pull the trigger. He's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And there's one down. Well, that at-bat seemed to be that over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there. At least to oh, foul yeah. something off. Extend that at-bat. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. That one's in there, 0 and 1. The pitch. Hot shot to third. Sneaks through, base hit. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate. Right right. Pretty tough for the, the infielders to do anything with that yeah. one. He pulled it hard into the oh, outfield. Yeah. And even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Runner on at first with one gone. Here's Chris Bryant now. Good power. Not great cool. in the OBP department. Knowing that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no-no. Next one just misses, and it's two and two. The pitch, and down on strikes he goes, now two away. Boog, it becomes pretty difficult as a teammate when a guy's struggling like this. You don't know if you want to go up and tell him to keep swinging it or if you want to give him his space, what exactly he needs. But right now, it's clearly a struggle for him, and you're just hoping that somehow, some way, it'll click, and he can get out of this as quickly as possible. Gene Segura at the plate here. In there, and it's 0-1. Hoskins, the runner at first with two gone. Ground ball right side and foul ball. The pitch. I got to count one and two. That's outside. Oh, now two and two. Oh, 
On the ground, right side. Simeon, toss over to first. Segura out the play. That's the inning. One left for Philadelphia. They hold the 2 nothing lead. Trust me when I tell you, low exceptions to the rules. Bringing blessings when I move. Special on my essence, I'm a bull. Welcome back. And now the center fielder, Adolis Garcia. Leading off for the Rangers, the center fielder, Adolis Garcia. The wind of the pitch. There's a strike. Well, the key to his success oh, is getting ahead early in the count. He cannot afford to go deep in the counts. Doesn't have a ton of swing and miss stuff, so he's going to have to work efficiently. Fires over to Hoskins and one away at the top of the third. Well, he didn't recognize changeup early here. enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Here's Cole Calhoun. Aye. And that's in there for strike one. Now this guy is just filling up the strike zone right now. Don't want to get yourself in an 0-2 hole. You better be ready to pull the trigger on the first pit. 0-2 oh, oh, as he waves at that one. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. And a pitch. Got it. Now two out. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really got in on him. And, you know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact. But that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. Here's Jose Trevino. First pitch, not close. Next offering is in for a strike. Next one in the dirt. One strike. Next offering misses. Ball three. three and one. to kick the pitch good plate appearance there able to take the walk one of the things about that two out walk the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead so a ball down the line or an into the gap will produce a two out rbi and those are the best that is if you are the offensive side of it Connor falefa in the box with one away as he takes ball one Next pitch misses outside. Now 2-0. Oh. Kicks and fires. Fouled off down the right side. the 2-1. Base hit, center field. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Here's Nick Solak. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Trent. 
Trevino. The lead runner out at second. Connor Falefa at first. Two out of the inning. Nope. The next oh. offering misses. And the count is one and one. Right side. Segura handles. They pick the force out. Third out. And that ends the frame. Rangers lead the pair. We're still down. It's 2 0. Bottom of the inning. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Lydia for the Phillies. The designated hitter. Kyle Schwarber. Dunning back to work. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Kicks and deals. The punch out there. One down. And now it is JT Real Mucho. JT Real Mucho. First pitch just misses. Offering is in for a strike. The pitch. Liner to second and picked on the hop. Sends it to first, and Real Muto is out. The right fielder, number three. Five. Harper. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Bryce Harper. To the right side, and that's just foul. Side gets out of the way. Hit well, right field, way back and up. Bryce Harper with a star scraper. It's his eighth home run of the year, and they add to their lead. It's three nothing. Just an excellent swing all the way around and it had that sound coming off the bat. It gets everyone to catch you. A lot of pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the box men it out of here. The two down, and now it's the cleanup spot for the Phillies. The center Brandon field, Jordan, 25. he's a guy who does Brandon. it all. Jordan. On the ground, right side. And that he's ends down. the inning. Bryce Harper brings the power for Philly. It's now 3-0. The out of the fourth. Here's the shortstop at the play. Corey Seager. Off for the Rangers. The Rangers the in striking distance, Corey. but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. They need a good at bat out of him right here. Here comes a pitch. That's a Ball four. one, no strikes. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. 
And there's the strike. This guy's sink has so much drop in it. It's almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets oh, swings and misses. Next one is off the plate. Yeah, that's ball two. The two on. That one fouled off. On a line, base hit. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he the got into an two. advantage count. Nice Second job base. of driving that pitch the Marcus. other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Here is Marcus hey. Simeon. That one's in there 0-1. Next nope. pitch misses. Ball one. one, one. That one the other way. Makes the grab right. one away. Throw not in time as he's able to get back to avoid the double play. The left fielder, number 25. Willie Calhoun. Willie Calhoun stepping in for the Rangers. And a rope in the center field base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Now batting the first baseman, Nathaniel. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. Lowe. In there for strike one. Next one misses, and yeah, that's ball one. Seeger at second, Calhoun at first, one gone. Next offering is in for a strike. One, two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two away. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. Yeah, I don't right. think that's a strike that's if he here. takes it. Pretty textbook with. pitching. Get ahead Garcia. the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. And now Adolis Garcia grounded out his first time. Ball Next one. pitch downstairs. One and oh. And he hits a ground ball right side. Segura throw to first. And that'll do it. Back at Citizens Bank Park, John Chavi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Trevor Story. Not shortstop. Trevor Story. The right hander back to work. Pitches in there. It's 0-1. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. The 0-1. Nope, Ooh. at the ball. One and one. Oh, 
That misses the zone. And a count two and one. That one in for a strike, two and two. Bounced up the middle. Simeon picks it up. The throw to first. And Story is out. The left field, number four. Nick. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. He's old for one. When he steps into the batter's box, the comfort level looks so high. It doesn't matter what kind of delivery that pitcher has, what kind of velocity, what kind of secondary stuff. He is so settled in there, he owns the home plate area. Righty delivers. On the ground to third. Connor Faleco throws the first in time. And Castellanos. My goodness, Chris. He had to generate a ton of power in that jump oh, roll for the out. Let's take another look and dive into the numbers from Stackman. Man, that's an impressive throw right there. You've got to have a powerful arm to play third base in the big leagues. And he just showed us why he's at this level. He has a camp. It's important. If he can go one, two, three here, it would be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Up the middle, lays out, but he can't squeeze it. No throw, and they come away without an out. Multi-hit game for him now, and with the lack the of results he's been having lately, I'm man. sure he's feeling some Red. relief. Fielder got a piece of it, but oh, the yeah. way that thing came off the bat, no surprise at all. He couldn't pick it cleanly. It's a very difficult play, and that swing definitely was deserving of a hit. Stands in with two away as he takes a ball. And the 1 0. Just off the inside edge. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Hoskins off of first with two away. The next pitch misses, and now 3-0. and A rare three-ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. At the belt and fires. Swing and a line drive caught. Philly strand one. But they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Back here in Philadelphia. And the batter now, Cole Calhoun. Leading off for the Rangers, the right fielder, Cole Calhoun. The pitch. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. <laughs> Left hand hitter waits. And a good eye there. Two misses to even the count. And 
Now the count filled up three and two. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. The wind of the pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Three, two. And that one fouled off. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. And the righty deals. Now fly ball to right center. Jordan moving under it. And there's one away. Up next for the Rangers, the catcher, Jose... Trevino. Jose Trevino stepping in for the Rangers. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yeah, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets out. Right-hander kicks deals. This to center field. Jordan puts the squeeze on that one. Out number two. Now batting the third baseman, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Now the third baseman, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Pitch oh, misses inside, and that's ball one. Harper drops over to his left. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Nope. That misses the zone. Now two balls and a strike. That's Next pitch is downstairs. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. Up the middle. Story gloves it. Now the throw to first on the run. And that is the third out of the inning. And the Rangers set down in order. They trail in this one, 3-0. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. Here's the second baseman, Gene Segura. He's not the power guy, the but he can baseman. hurt you to all parts Gene. of the ballpark. And the pitch. That one misses, and it's one to no. Next pitch is popped up. Trevino settles underneath it, and there's one down. The batter, the designated hitter, Kyle. And here's the Phillies' leadoff man, Kyle Schwarber. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. First offering, and it just misses. Next offering is in for a strike. Next pitch has popped up. Connor Falefa makes the grab. And there's two down. Now batting. Catcher. JT. Real Yuko. Two outs. Base is empty. Now it's going to be JT Real Muto. Known for his rocket arm behind the plate.
First off ring, misses the mark. Next pitch is outside. The wind to kick the 2 0. That to right. Calhoun makes the catch, and that'll do it. Phillies go down quietly in the inning, but they lead it 3 0. And welcome back. Now the number two hitter, Nick Solak. Leading off for the Rangers, the designated hitter, Nick. And a pitch. Solak. And takes low for ball one. And he deals. On the ground to third. And he grabs it foul. No, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Next offering is in for a strike. Next one misses, and that's ball two. That one to first, and it goes just foul. In the air, right side. Harper in position, and he makes the catch. And there's one away. The batter, number five, shortstop, Corey. Seeger stands in now. First pitch doesn't find the zone. If you're on the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. Fouled off. He was late. Going to count one and two. Everyone can have a little chuckle there. He's had such a great season. Rarely ever do you see that kind of swing. Yeah, the right hander deals. And a foul ball. And a pitch. And that one missing low. Oh, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Fires over to Hoskins, and Seeger is set down. The batter number two, second baseman, Marcus Simeon. Now it's Marcus Simeon. Ground ball up the middle. Oh, a great grab on the dime. They get the out, and that will do it. This guy's anticipation is off the charts. Don't see many shortstops better than that. Great job to complete the play and end the end. So, out of the bullpen for the Rangers, Josh Spores. It's his job Number to keep 62. his team in the game. Josh. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and we get a little length out of this arm. Coming out of the Here bullpen, we we'll what see just Billy? how many outs he's able the to right give his skipper. Right. Harper. The pitch. Harper in the box now. No balls in a strike. Moving in the bullpen. Brent Martin getting ready to go.
The 0 1. Way high. One ball, one strike. Left hand batter waits. Down and this two, is and inside. One. Next offering is outside. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3 1 count. Righty to the plate. Ground ball to the right side. And he takes it himself for the out. Now battle. The center fielder. Brandon Jordan. Here's a big power threat. Brandon Jordan. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off. Him. First pitch, and he just misses. Fans come to the ballpark to watch him play and in baseball to have such a talented player going out there every day and putting on the show that he does just a joy to watch next offering is in for a strike Next one off the plate inside. The count now two and two. Two two down. Stays alive. Next offering misses, and it's three and two. Hits for average power. The ability to feel the arm and then the speed, really impressive. Payoff pitch. Out to center. Garcia has this one sized up. And it's caught for the out. Now batting, shortstop, Trevor. Story. There's Trevor Story now. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. And the first pitch oh, misses good. for ball one. Two outs. Two balls, no strikes. Now he breaks his back, and that is that. Three up, three down for Philadelphia, but they lead it three nothing. Back here in Philadelphia, digging in, Willie Calhoun. Leading off for Texas, the left fielder, number 25, Willie the pitch. Yeah, that skips in the dirt. The one oh. There's a foul ball. The wind and the pitch. And downstairs, stirring in the Phillies bullpen, Sir Anthony Dominguez, the young right-hander, up and throwing. Alvarado getting loose as well. 
the pitch. That one off the mark, and the count is three and one. And that's ball four. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. Nathaniel Low up to hit. Nathaniel Low. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feel. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. And now Adolis Garcia. Calhoun on second, low at first with no outs. That hits the dirt, the ball wants strike. Kicks and deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Pitch has popped up. Drops into the glove. And there's one down. Now so digging in, Cole Calhoun. First offering misses the mark. Runners at first and second with one gone. Next offering is in for a strike. Next one misses, two and one. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on, two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. You leave something out over the plate, it's gonna bring in some runs. The next offering misses, and that's ball three. Three one is on the way. Ground ball could be two. Story to second. Double play. And he can't seem to break through. The inning over. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice speed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn. And they're out of this jam. Colby Allard on the pitch out of the pen here. And he'll do his best to keep this close. Colby Allard. Back here at the ballpark, here's Nicholas Castellanos. Leading up for the Phillies, the left fielder, Nick Castellanos. The wide to kick the pitch. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Next pitch misses, and the count is 2-0. Oh. Next one is off the play, 3-0. Oh. 
So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at bat turns out. Yeah, there's ball four. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. Yeah. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Gone. their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, dude. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dip. Just a nice job, recognizes off speed as that leg hangs in the air a little bit, but he gets it down, hits against a strong and firm front side. And that's uh, not going to cheesesteak out of somebody's lap. I would be upset if somebody knocked the cheesesteak out of my lap, I'll tell you that. I don't think that's possible. You're too quick. Now, now here is Chris Bryant. Bryant. That hits the dirt. And oh, yeah. that is ball one. The lefty, the 1 0. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Here's a 1-1. Backed off the plate that time. To one. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. No. Chris Bryant pops one out of here. His seventh home run of the season. And they tack one on the board. It's 6 nothing. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spent on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Taking over on the mound for the Rangers, Brent Mark. Now, big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. Gene Segura will hit next. The batter, number two, second baseman. And the first pitch misses Gene for ball one. Segura. Ball one, no strikes to Segura. Hits softly on the ground to third. Fires over to first. One away. That ground ball may have him back on track after the homer. Good sinker low in the zone yeah, right there and produced exactly what he was looking Kyle. for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground. And now for the Phillies, Kyle Schwarber. Yeah, the first offering is not close. Ripped to short, snagged on a bounce. Whips it to first. Schwarber out of the play. 
Up next to Philadelphia. Seeing an impressive jump Nick throw Kessler. from the hole at Nick short. Kessler. Let's see what Steph has to say. Now he's just showing off out there. I, mean, I don't know if fans realize how much arm strength you need to make that throw. This guy's got to lock it up an arm. That was on full display right there. Just an awesome job. Two outs, base is empty. And digging in for Philadelphia, JT Real Muto. First pitch, and he just misses. is even. Slice to right. Calhoun makes the catch, and that'll do it. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now a 6-0 ball game. Yohan Lopez. Comes now, on now, and he'll try to keep this big Number lead 50. right where it is. Welcome back, and here's the catcher, Jose Trevino. Leading off for the Rangers, the catcher, Jose Trevino. pitch lifted in the air right center field Jordan gliding to his left makes the grab one down Woo. he was all over that first pitch fastball but just barely missed now it batting. man this guy first was ready baseman. to hit Isaiah Connor Falefa back to the top of the lineup here's the third baseman Isaiah Kiner Falefa for the fourth time tonight First pitch, just misses. Some bullpen action for Philadelphia. Sam Kunra, a right-handed sinker baller. He looks to be readying himself. Alvarado getting cranked up as well. And the 1-0. Bounce to third. Bryant collects it. Zips it across. Two up, two down here at the top of the eighth. The battle, number 15. Nick Solak. Stepping in is the speedy Nick Solak. And that's in there for strike one. Now this manager knows that his players are just trying to do too much. Everybody needs to just take a deep breath, relax, and let it naturally happen. Here it comes. A foul ball. He stays alive. Kicks and fires. Stays alive. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. Two down. Nobody on. That one hit to right. Parker makes the catch, and that'll do it. Rangers go down quickly there. They still find themselves down. Six zip. This is redemption for my soul. Back at Citizens Bank Park. Here's Harper in that. Leading up for the Philly. The right field. Run. Here comes the pitch. Strike one. And 
and that one wrapped foul. Well, they gave up on that pitch early, and it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would like that pitch again. Chopped out in front of the plate. And he's safe with Coles. It was a healthy cut, but the same can't be said for the contact. He got right just here. enough of the ball to put it in play, and that's all he needed. Tough play yeah, for yeah. the defense on what was kind of a swinging ball. And at first, stepping in, Brandon Jordan. First pitch doesn't find the zone. The 1-0. And now the lefty. Yeah, there's the strike. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out of that double play. Harper aboard here at first with nobody out. That one ripped. He dives, but he can't make the catch. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. So when you fall now behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then you guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like you did right there. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. First offering, misses the mark. Front and foul to the left side. At the belt and fires. And another ball. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. And a pitch. First and second here, no outs. Three, two down. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Swing and a miss, and one away. Man, it's so difficult as a hitter to get on plane with that pitch. It's breaking down and in, and you've got to find a way to match the plane. And if it's nasty like that one, bite at the end, most times you're swinging over the top and walking back to the dugout. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Nick Castellanos. That one fouled hard the other way. And he deals. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. And a pitch. And a pop-up. Right side, foul territory. And Castellanos is out. And there's two away. The first baseman, number 17, Reese Hoskins. Next to hit, Reese Hoskins. He's already homered in this game.
Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Next one off the plate inside. Two and one. And the pitch. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. That'll touch down off the base of the fence. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Through eight full, it's the Phillies seven and the Rangers nothing. Jose Alvarado taking over on the mound, and he's got a nice lead to work with. Well, I think that what makes him so tough against left-handers is he hides the ball for a long time, and from that same side, harder for you to determine which part of the plate it's going to end up on. Back here in Philadelphia, the batter will be the shortstop, Corey Seager. The shortstop. And a pitch. Seager. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Now the 0-1. Swings through that one for strike two. He can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. 0-2 oh, now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter and the bullpen the is following two. suit. It's just Second a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. Marcus Simeon getting ready to hit. First offering and it just misses. He's a bullpen arm that keeps the ball in the ballpark. But obviously, out of the bullpen, you're looking to limit home runs. Yeah, and that's why he's such a high leverage arm. Just doesn't matter for him. He looks at attacking the zone and attacking hitters regardless of the situation. Next offering is foul back. The pitch. Fouls one off, two and two. Two, two now, Simeon waits. On the ground to the left, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. Not in time, he's safe. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. Really. Up next for the Rangers, Willie Calhoun. First pitch, and he just misses. Runner at second here, one gone. Next offering is in for a strike. In there. And so now one and two. One and two. And it's second. Got him looking. He's gone. Didn't agree with the call at the plate right there. Now, Brooke, in a game like this, that's just too now close to take. It's a blowout game. The guys have been out here for a while. Umpire's oh. saying, hey, let's go. Cut it loose. Swing the bat. And 
Now the first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. In there, and it's 0-1. Rolled one down. This one high in the air to left center. And he's got it. Thank you. And the Phillies take this one in a blowout. When you win five in a row, the confidence just goes to another level. And you start to gain this momentum. And you think that you're never going to lose a game again because things are clicking up and down the lineup. Pitchers are pitching. Guys are making the plays defensively. This is the kind of feeling. It's not going to last all season long, but you want to ride it as long as you possibly can. Perhaps push it up to double digits. This one ends 7-0. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Schaub. We'll see you soon.